I'm so glad you're here today. We're going to talk about how to do a pencil tumbler, but using water slide paper. So what I did was start by prepping your cup. Okay. Prep it, sand it, base coat it. I chose a white glitter and then I did a full wrap water slide. The words are in vinyl, but the actual pencil design is in water slide. So I did design the image myself. I will put a link down below so you can get that image. I will include the um, rectangle image that I made and I will include the shaped image. So I used the conical warp tool in Silhouette Studio to shape the pencil water slide so it could fit exactly around my cup. I changed the size to be for this maker flow tumbler and you'll see that it was slightly just a little too big so it does overlap just a little bit um, but you could play with it or you could cut off the edges um, it will sort of change just a little bit depending on how many coats you have over your glitter right that changes the size of the cup so I'm gonna include both for you and let me show you really quick how I actually use that warp feature. So if you download the uh, rectangular image, you can input the sizes on your own. So you can warp it if you have Silhouette Studio, you know, because you might be using a different brand cup. Um, if that piece doesn't interest you, just fast forward just a little bit where I will get into actually the step-by-step -step how to make the cup. So as always, if you're liking the content, shoot me that thumbs up subscribe down below. I appreciate all of your support and I hope you enjoy the video. Okay, so I'm sitting in the dark because I don't have any power down here, but I chose to warp the image for two reasons. One, I wanted the seam and like the, the point of that pencil part to line up exactly. And secondly, I, I hate exacto knives and I'm just like terrible at using them. So if it overlaps, you have to cut down the water slide paper and that's totally fine. Just like it's a fabric tumbler, you can totally do it. I just, I am really bad at it. So let's get into the step-by-step -step on how to warp your own image. And if you just want to get to how to make the cup again, fast forward, I will put the timestamps in the description box below. So you're going to start by opening the file and it should be nine about nine inches wide and you're gonna go to the bottom right and choose the conical warp feature click the cup on the top and then click conical warp selected shapes and you're just gonna change the sizes you should measure your cup specifically uh, but I'm going to do 2.95 and I'm gonna do 2.7 and I'm going to do 7.9. Again, this is for a maker flow. You can change these numbers based on the size of your cup. You're going to press apply and I just print it right from here. Then I go through the sealing process, wait 24 hours, and then it's ready to be added to the cup. Check the directions on your specific paper, but generally you will want to submerge it underwater for about 30 to 60 seconds before you add it to the surface. I'm going to link down below a video on sealing water slides and some more information if you need it. So take your hand and just wet your cup. You want your cup to be completely covered in water. Otherwise, you're going to have trouble getting off your water slide. So once it's been about 60 seconds, your water slide paper is going to slide right off of your backing paper. So I just use my hand and pull away the backing. I line it up straight and continue to add the image. I use this um, silicone brush to get any water out from underneath of the image. Again, keep getting your cup wet if you need to and getting your water slide wet. So I just take my hand and just keep wetting the cup, otherwise you're gonna have some trouble. Using your scraper tool to squeegee out any excess moisture. 
I will say that I highly recommend using the Plasti Dip when you're sealing, especially when you're doing this full wrap water slide. Otherwise, you're probably going to have your paper tear. So once your water slide image is on, you can take your silicone brush and just make a pass all the way around the cup. You want to squeegee out as much of the water as you can. It's important that you get all of the water out so it can properly stick to your cup. You can see that my water slide is overlapping slightly and that's because my image was just a tad too big for the cup. So make sure you measure your cup and put the measurements in as best you can. I then take a paper towel and just dry, lightly go over the cup so I can get any of the water that's on the outside. So since we're limited by an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper, right? I can't get the bottom on my water slide. So I'm choosing to paint the bottom black to match the end of that pencil. So I took 400 grit sandpaper and just gave a light sand around the edge. And I'm gonna use black gloss to make that bottom black. So you can see that the black gloss is semi-transparent. So I just put a little on the bottom, took a paintbrush and got it completely covered. And you can see that you will need multiple coats. Let each coat dry for four hours. Make sure that you keep your layers thin. Putting more on the bottom is counterproductive. You wanna make sure you do multiple thin coats. So you can see here what it looks like after two coats. So it's pretty good coverage after two coats. I went ahead and went for a third coat. You just wanna make sure that you don't get any drips off the, the edge because you don't want any of the black gloss to go over any of your pencil design. You can always take a little bit of rubbing alcohol if you have any drips, but hopefully you're doing thin enough coats where that's not an issue. I did three coats of bright tone every four hours before I added my decal. So I'm just lining up since I have that overlapping part, which is not ideal, but it's fine that I wanted that on the back so I could put my decal on the front. Now I'm choosing to use vinyl for my decal. You could use water slide or tattoo paper, whatever makes you happy. But I added the decal after I did three coats of bright tone. Now technically you could be done here, but I personally like to make sure that my vinyl is completely sear sealed and I have a flush surface so I can't actually feel the vinyl. So if you don't care if you can feel the vinyl, you certainly could stop, but I personally like to add vinyl over the top to make sure it's extra protected. So I'm gonna do this at regular speed. So you can see I'm using about two milliliters per layer. I just take my finger and spread the bright tone all the way around. You know you have enough if you feel your finger sliding over the cup. If you sort of get stuck at any point, that means there's no bright tone there. You should not have any drips or a lot coming off on your finger, otherwise you're using too much. Make sure you let each coat spin for about an hour and dry for a total of four to five hours before you add another coat. I did four coats before I sanded over the decal. So in order to get the surface smoother faster, you can take 400 grit sandpaper and just lightly sand over just the words or whatever your image is. This will bring down the, the Crystallac product that's over the words without bringing down the whole rest of the cup so you can create a level surface faster. So once you sand over your decal, rinse it and let it dry, and then you can continue your coats from there. So usually I just need an additional three coats and I'm good to go, but sometimes you need to sand one more time. So do another three coats and decide whether you're okay with how it is or if you wanna go ahead and sand one more time and then add a couple coats after you sand. Again, make sure that you're using two milliliters or so per layer. You only need a little bit. Thin coats are where it's at. So once it is done and you're satisfied with how it looks, 
make sure that you let it dry for about five days before you put it in the mail or pass it along to the new person who gets it. I absolutely love this method. I think it looks really great and it's less time consuming and labor intensive than a traditional glitter pencil. So comment below if you have any questions and join me in the next video.